All right, so I'm down here in the window well uh, where we have a bedroom right down here, and my daughter said that she heard something in the window well, and occasionally we will find little mice or other little critters that have fallen down in here and gotten stuck, and then we'll come out here. And yes, we've got different plants growing down here, which is not what the plan was, but anyways, there's this big weed growing out of the side, and we could hear this noise every once in a while, and we just discovered what the noise is. It was like this little high-pitched squeal that would we would hear every once in a while. And so let me go under this plant and show you what we've got. Oh, there it was. We have a garter snake eating a tree frog. Yeah, that is a bizarre no wait. No, there's two there's two legs. They're just together. I wonder if this little guy's gonna get away or not. Do we intervene and save the frog? I think we let it go. I think he's gonna make it. I think he's gonna escape. Look at him. That snake is barely hanging on. Barely hanging on. And I don't think garter snakes, ha they don't have teeth. So he's not able to inject venom. He's not able to, uh, like, pierce the skin. He's only able to hang on. Pinch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He just got, oh, look at He's crawling his way up. Ah, that could have been... That could, if that frog could just kick his hind legs, he could get away. Uh, I think the snake, the snake on the inside of his throat must have something that can grip and pull the, the frog legs in. The question I have is, how in the heck is that snake going to get that body of that frog into its, bo into its mouth? It's nature's way. That's amazing. You don't see this every day, folks. We were talking, we didn't think, we thought that maybe tree frogs were, you know, honestly, that tree frog isn't, isn't flipping out at all. He's just chilling. He's getting eaten by a snake, and he doesn't even care. I mean, I'm sure he cares, but I don't know how this is going to end. I think it's going to be just a, a battle of who can outlast. All right, I'm going to pause it, and we'll come back to this in a second. A little bit of an update here. Uh, oh, oh, as we were just going to say, it, does, it doesn't look like the snake has made any progress on getting the frog further down, but now it looks like the frog might actually be, be getting out a little bit. We've watched this and we just don't think there's any way that that snake is going to be able to eat that frog. So... Again, the snake is not making any progress on this frog at all. So I don't know when he's going to give up. <laughs> I think the frog is inflating himself. Oh, look at that. He's he does he does have it looks like and this is probably not teeth, but this is probably from the inside throat area of the snake there's now some you can see like some little uh, like cuts on the frog that's interesting you 
You know, National Geographic ain't got nothing on that shot right there. Oh, he's repositioning. I don't know. I, I think the frog is going to make it. I think the frog is going to get, get out of there. Let me shut off the camera, and we'll come back if there's any any update, any movement. The battle continues. Well, <laughs> things are not looking up for the frog. Uh, the snake has managed to work his way up all the way to the frog's eyes now. Look at that, that's just... So, that's interesting. The snake just repositioned. The frog got out a little bit more, so then the snake kind of picked him up and uh, carried him across over here. So, for whatever reason. I think this is actually benefiting the frog because I think he can grab onto those branches. You can see blood on the side of the frog though. So he's definitely a little battered and bruised. Here's another update folks and if you can see that the snake has now swallowed up all the way up over the snout all the way completely over one eye and I'm going to have to say that the snake is going to win he has basically swallowed up all the way over let me see if I can move this all the way up over the the not the nose now of the frog if you can see that that whole side of the frog is is in the snake's mouth except for that front right leg and then on this side you've got just you can't see any of the eyes of the frog anymore but you can see a little bit of the side of the frog and his front left leg. So it looks like this is, I don't think there's any coming back from this. There it is, guys. That's the end. Right there. It's pretty incredible. He won the battle. He has finished off that frog that'll keep him alive for who knows how long week maybe two 
There it is, folks. The battle is over. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to help that guy get that that leaf off of his because I don't think he likes that leaf on his mouth. But you know what? You're an animal. You gotta figure it out. So I don't know what we're gonna do with this snake. If we're gonna just leave it in the window well, or if we'll uh, move it out. But yeah, the frog is now somewhere in the body right there. So interesting stuff that's nature all right thanks for watching guys we'll see ya